Ah. Oh. Hello, Dragonling. Wow, like two hits. Dragonling scales. More elf root. Stay alert. We're in the beast territory now. It's all right, Cassandra. You and I are buffed up with uh, dragon slaying equipment. I think we're going to be pretty fine. Like I said, it's all it's just a matter of finding the dragons. That's that's the uh to me that's the more tough part is actually finding them or getting to them because sometimes you got to go through a bunch of other stuff just to get to where the dragon is. Once you actually find the dragon, sometimes fighting it is uh, even easier depending on how how high of a level that they are. Let's see. Up oh, more elf root. Hello, hello. Serpent stone. Okay. This away. Ah, there it is. You see it? There's the dragon. There's the mighty beast. Wow, you can hear it walking around. Vinsomer. That's its name, or that's what kind of dragon it is? The only thing is, we have Varric and Dorian with us instead of uh, Iron Bull and Vivienne, so this could be an, a bit of an issue. Oh, I leapt out of the way! Ah, no! I misused my abilities that would have helped out against this thing. level 19 so it actually is a pretty high level dragon actually looks like it's electricity powered See, its breath is electricity. It's lightning! Left the wrong way. There we go. That should help. Almost got it. He's almost done. He's almost done. So close. Finish him off. Yeah. Five of ten. Pretty good little inquisition. 
I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt and assuming you didn't drag them all here by force. How kind of you. Oh my. You never know, you could have kidnapped Ruffles and she'd be too polite to say anything. Liliana recruited Josephine, their friends. So there's a rational explanation after all. Just when I thought you had layers. Ha! <laughs> Well, now this would have been nice to have gotten in peace, vigilance. Ah, whoops, I pressed the wrong button. All right, let me take another look at this thing. So it's, it's level 13. This would have been nice to have gotten earlier. Huh, could have given that to Blackwall. Same thing with the uh, dagger that I just got. This is all, it's all stuff to sell now at this point. See, like this right here. Wyvern Tooth. This would have been an awesome dagger to have gotten earlier. But, it, it, compare it to those two daggers I have right now. It's just not good now. Oh, well. We've slain five of ten dragons now. I'm halfway there. Like I said, it's just a matter of actually getting to and finding them. Let me put the uh, am amulet back on. There we go. Don't need that. This one anymore. Because, see, I had to go through the Templar stronghold just to get to where it was and find it. Huh. You can even fast travel back there. Huh. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh, see, and then there's also this quest here. This involves trying to find the dragon in that area. Clear out the Vargas at the creek. Huh. See, it's just a couple little side quest things here and there to do. Where was even that, uh, it showed that there was a quest, like, you've slain five of ten. I don't think I can mark that. Well, anyway, let's see, uh, let's go back to Skyhold now. I'm curious to see whether or not anyone has anything to say regarding what happened in the DLC. Or if everyone just ignores it. Unlike when you do a big story quest or something. I do have operations to do. I guess I'll go check those out at the war table, see if Colin can do any of those. So, I guess we'll start off by heading over here. Oh, see a Grey Warden there. Let's see if Cassandra has anything new to say. You are quite distracting, you know. Oh, am I? <laughs> That's enough for now. We shall speak again soon. Yes, we shall. <laughs> That's where the Inquisition, or the requisitions are. I, so it looks like I have a feeling no one else has anything new to say. Oh. Inquisitor. I see. Huh. Nope, nothing there. Anything, Bull? Yes. Nope. Are you sure? I'll ask around again. Salund? Inquisitor. Rat. Inquisitor. Huh. About Sarah. Ready for waiting. Oh man. Nope. Oh, Colin's report is done. Oh, 
What about coal? A cold flame blazes in a robe worth more than children. Nope. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's go see if we can... If Colin's got anything to say. Shield in the armory for this. He <laughs> said it was a training exercise. Should I tell him not to do it again? No. Have him tell me next time. I want to see if that would work. Huh. <laughs> Inquisitor? Alright, that's it. Another. So it looks like it may be that nobody has anything to say. I always keep forgetting that black walls right down there. He's so far away from where everyone else is. Everyone's like kind of in a certain area. My friend. All right. We'll talk later. Goodbye. That was nice. He said, "My friend." I guess that means that his approval is pretty high up. Hey, Varric. What can I do for you, Your Inquisitorialness? <laughs> nice job making up words, Varric. Let's see if uh, Morgan has anything new to say. It's been a while since I've talked to her. I imagine your forces will be heading into the Arbor Wilds very soon, Inquisitor. Trust me when I say that wherever the Illuvian is hidden, it is worth any effort to prevent Corypheus from acquiring it. All right. I'd like to know more about you. If you have questions, then ask. Never mind. Until next. Huh. Oh, Morgan. Alright, I know Dorian had nothing else to say. Because we already tried talking to him. He was like, oh, hi. Let's check with Leliana. Hello, Leliana. Any updates? Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. Alright, carry on. Alright, uh, looks like their operations are getting done. Let's head over to the operations table. Oh, 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 uh, actually, Vivian. I also always forget to talk to Vivian. Hello, darling. You've made such intriguing design choices for the castle, my dear. They must be inspired. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you, Vivian. I'm glad you approve. Once this business with Corypheus is done, I'll take you to Val Royo. You should meet my seamstress. Oh, I simply and must. And are important. We can't have you mistaken for a commoner. Oh, of course not. Hmm. If I say I am a commoner or if I should be one of them, she'll be like, Oh, no, of course not. You're the Inquisitor. I'll say, I suppose you're right. I suppose it's important to show that we're an authority to be respected. Not just respected, my dear. Awed, feared, aspired to. You command an army of the faithful, outfitted by the coin of the nobility. You must be a man who the common folk aspire to be and to whom the nobility bow. <laughs> That's a lot to live up to. That's quite a lot for one person to pull off, don't you think? It is a challenge all great leaders must face, Inquisitor. As the stories of the Inquisition spread, more and more people will wonder if you are the man they say you are. They will question what they've heard, but they will believe what they see. They must see someone greater than legends. You hold the divine to that? If that's your standard for me, what does the divine have to live up to? Andraste and the Maker cast very large shadows. The divine absolutely must set the example for all Thedas. She must seem to be the embodiment of the Maker to the Faithful. She needs the authority of the Maker and the charisma of Andraste. It will be no small task to fill that vacant throne. Do you need something, my dear? <laughs> no, my dear. Thank you for the talk. That reminds me. Ow! I need to go check on uh, the new Dwarven banner I got.
first. May as well go right here and sell my junk. There we go. Sell that. I guess I'll sell that. Sell that. That pummel, not the runes. Not the crafting materials. There we go. 15 of... Wow. Banner. Huh. I already had a dwarven banner. Dwarven bed. Dwarven drapery. Huh. Dwarven heldry. Legacy Kirkwall throne. This is the Avar throne, by the way. <laughs> Doesn't look as nice. And dwarven windows. So I don't know what that was I got. Maybe there was an addition to it, but there's no Dwarven Throne, really. Anyway. Let's go to the Operation Table. Let's also check with uh, see if Josephine has anything new to say. A pleasure. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Let's take a look. Okay. These three are done. The Lear song is all too quick is all too quick forgot and at a word her patrons turn aside. Meriden. 30 influence. Nice. 78 gold. Nice. And the other one. Store back or you're safe in a cave far from Skyhold supply lines. I'm told it's by a river stocked with large fish. She seems so content. The only danger is she may never wish to leave. Leliana, 240 influence. Nice. If we're going to have a bear be uh, be with us, I, would, I don't want it to risk it getting uh, hurt or dying. So, yeah, I was with Leliana. I was like, let's keep it safe. Ah, here we go. Restore the port on the storm coast. The Templar is holding the storm. Maybe I'll assist. Huh. Since we're nearby cities, or we can send some of our workers to assist the blades of Hisarian. Let's do that. That sounds like something something good that Colin can do. Offer from the blades. Keep supplies along the shore. Consider them at your disposal. Our former leader increased our cash significantly, although some consider his methods dishonorable. We can use resources in order to deliver them. They work for you. Let them keep their supplies. We know little of this group. Perhaps instead they have no knowledge worth sharing. We cannot openly accept stolen goods, of course. We have no way of returning them, so we may discreetly take found goods. And this one, reports of dark spawn activity. Josephine won't do this. Underground, our soldiers can sweep the area to determine where they are most concentrated. It's risky, but a few scouts could sneak past the dark spawn and try to determine where they are coming from. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what was uh, the other ones I wanted either Leliana or Josephine for. There's this one. Doesn't look like I have any other ones. I'm 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 ch looking around just to make sure. There's like n no other ones that are like. Oh, that's right. Thanks for the chance. That's right. I was like, what was the other one? Oh, that's right. It was this one. All right. So Josephine does this one. Inquisitor. And then, huh? Colin could do that one. I'll wait and let him do that one too. 
I guess I'll have a uh, Liliana. Uh, you know what? I can have her do the other one first since it's much shorter in terms of time, and then I'll have her do that one. So I guess I'll have her work on this one. Inquisitor. Only nine minutes. And then I can have uh, Colin work on this one. Okay. So we have those going. Now let's step outside the room for a second. And decide what we shall do next. Nice. 270 experience. Or influence. So... Other than some, there are some interesting side quests around here. The Tomb of Pharaoh, Hissing Waste, and some of these other areas, but none of them are really, like, significant. The only next significant thing here is the main story quest. And, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, cut this short. And, uh, what I may do, either I'll just wait for the operations finish and just have those go underway... I might go to some of these areas, like the Western Approach, see if, what I can do about finding this dragon here, possibly. Do this one, that sounds easy, quick to do. But then this is all stuff that I can do after we beat the game. So I think what I'll do is, uh, when we come back, we will actually get underway with the next main story mission, what Pride had wrought, as we will try and see what we can do about, uh, Stopping Corypheus from uh, trying to get use the power of the Illuvians, as Morgan told us. Stay tuned! <laughs>